A lopsided high school basketball game has some questioning whether the University Interscholastic League has any common sense at all. One charter school's boys basketball team actually beat another by more than 100 points. Fox 4's Brandon Todd is in Arlington now with more. Brandon. Yeah, Heather, I talked to both teams today and both teams agreed that winning uh, one team winning by a point margin of 107 points isn't really what either team intended in all of this. But now the blame seems to be falling on the UIL. 16 year old Ward Griffin says he plays to win, but the score on the scoreboard isn't nearly as important as this junior's test scores at Uplift Summit International Preparatory in Arlington. The Skyhawks faced that philosophy head on Friday as they were matched up with AAA Academy from Oak Cliff, the state's number one ranked 4A high school basketball team. This is YouTube video of King McClure, one of the country's top recruits, and Tyler Singleton. Both are top scorers for AAA, and both were pulled after the first quarter Friday. Even so, the score at halftime was 76 to 3. The Skyhawks lost. Final score, 117 to 10. I think any time that there's a score like that, it can be tough, but our students, you know, they come here for the academics. They come here to go to college, um, and that's, that's their mission here, and that's what we're here to support them for. But criticism for the lopsided score and matchup seems to fall squarely on the UIL and a rule that was supposed to level the playing field. The UIL wanted to make sure that charter schools, which can pull from an unlimited pool of students, are more evenly matched against other schools that have limitations on student enrollment. AAA's coach, Tim Singleton, told us off camera he had guys in the second half who were deliberately throwing the ball out of bounds just to give Uplift Summit more possessions. They even played guys from the bench the whole second half, players who rarely play. Singleton said they did not intentionally try to run up the score, and Uplift hasn't accused them of that. Both coaches are friends and wondered why the UIL rules would have them matched up in the first place. You persevere and you practice and you play hard and you do your best. You know, we wanted to ask uh, both the players and the coach about the game, but the coach uh, here at Uplift Summit declined an on-camera and off-camera interview, and the school wouldn't let the players uh, answer any questions about the game. By the way, these teams play each other again on, uh, in about two weeks, and we're told from the AAA coach that those two starters, uh, the high scorers that they have on their team, will not be playing in that game. Heather, Steve? All right. We'll see what the score is then, though. All right, Brandon Todd, live tonight. Thank you.